Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to Creep World 3, Ark Eternal. The Timix here, and you may notice one thing about the title for this video. It does not say blind. And that's because this unfortunately isn't blind. The first time that I played our next level, which is the Bardell Redemption, it ended up with a corrupted file. And it wasn't the normal type. Like, usually if the video file is corrupted, it'll have the wrong file type or have way out of whack size or whatever. None of those things happened. It looked normal when I was recording it. Everything else, and you can see here, it took me just over an hour. Hopefully it'll take me less this time, because I definitely made some mistakes. Had to restart it a few times. But it just, it wouldn't open in any video program. They'll say, oh, well, we don't recognize this, etc., etc. And I don't understand what happened, so that's kind of annoying to me, because if you screw something up, then you understand it, you can fix it. I just have to hope this kind of doesn't happen again. So, my apologies that I won't, won't be able to see all of the weird, dumb things that I did the first time. But I will try to make this fairly seamless. Now, I took the Bardell Redemption instead of the Bardell Convention because this one appears to me to be slightly larger size planet. So that's why I went there first. Anyway, let's dive back in and get to what all this is about. Of course, we have to restart it. And we do have an archive transmission. He's referring to this right over here, which is where they dump us off to begin things. And I found that we want to knock this out right away. I, I basically, no matter when I do this, I always tried to do that. And then we've got all of these up here. But I, I found it wasn't really worth messing around with that. I want to be kind of focused in what I do. Which in this case is, you really want to protect against spores. You've got spores that are coming over here, spores that are coming over here, and you notice they build at different rates. So initially, you don't need that many, but then later on, you'll need more. So that's the basic deal here. Let's put up another one of those. Put a beam up there. There we go. And you can't actually build anything on here. And these aren't spots that you can build on either. So if you lose these, and we are going to lose the middle one, as far as I know, there's no way to avoid that, then you just sort of are without it. So spacing out these beams is really important. I'm getting behind on my, uh, my stuff here as I talk. Now I did discover that I want to beam right there. So I like to put that down first and then put the relay on this side of it. Why? Because then I can fit a reactor in here. Energy is really important in the early going and we're not going to get much of it. Particularly since I'm going to want another beam up here. Now I did initially sort of do this and I'm going to I'm going to put it up again because it'll last for a little bit. But if I put a beam there and then a collector here. There we go. And I sort of want to watch this. Now, you, you can see that our energy is getting low. So I'm not going to build anything else for the moment. And here comes our first spore. And what happens here at the beginning is this, this is supplied, but it's not going to last very long. And so once we run out here, this is going to be gone, and we only get to run off the one. So, and yep, now, now I've... I'm getting behind again. Let's see, I don't remember. I'm going to go here and here. I believe that's how I want to do this. Definitely need a beam there. And I like to put this ore mine up just because I need it to, to know exactly where to place everything else. I can't fit anything else on this side. But I really think I need that second beam there. Okay, and then the placement of this one is important. It has to be right on that corner so we can cross this way. We're low on energy, so I'm just going to wait for this stuff to finish.
And I may be a little bit behind on this attempt. Well, I know I'm behind on it, but I may be, like, fatally behind. I might not be able to, to make it happen. It's a very gradual buildup. And one of the keys here is not to build things that you can't defend. Let me go ahead and put that one up. There we go. And you can see now we've got these other ones. And this is the big one. That's five spores. It's about to hit. And I don't think we're going to be ready. Matter of fact, I'm pretty confident we're not going to be ready. You can see, you can look around and see, well, where else do I put things? And it's not really going to happen. I could try putting a reactor there instead of a collector. I don't think there's time. Now we're starting to generate. Okay, so I'm going to put a reactor here. And another beam down here. And you can see that you just don't have anything extra to deal with. Now there it goes. Come on. Oh, yep, and I'm, I'm going to miss it. And there it is. And now I'm sunk. So, yeah. That's the beginning. I'm going to try it again. Try to do it better. I have done it better before. It's different to try to explain everything while you're going along here. And of course, one of the keys here is don't lose time. Like, don't lose anything that you're doing. Don't lose energy. Be building enough stuff so that you always are building. And at first I tried to build more reactors and stuff along this path, and then I just discovered, look, that just doesn't work. As much as you'd like it to, it doesn't. You simply have to get all of these beams up or you're not going to be able to defend yourself. So once we get here, that reactor is absolutely vital. See, we just barely take that out, and now we're waiting for energy to refill. You always got to be constantly watching that energy. I almost had it top out a couple times, but then now we're low. And it's just got to be a constant thing. Now, I don't want to expand beyond that until I get this one building. Oh, boy. Yep. relay there and then we want to start with uh, the reactors right away and get that beam up yeah and they don't enough energy for that so we'll just deactivate it keep the energy going to the reactor because without energy you can do nothing and again we only have 1.9 It's kind of a race to get an over here, get enough energy so that you can fight off the spores each time they come. And then once you do that, you can gradually ramp up. And you can see like we're using all the energy we have. 
And this one is the annoying one because it just seems to take forever to build, but it's almost there. Okay, now it's going up. Energy is going up. And I'm going to throw another beam up here. And then soon I'm going to build another reactor. Now this beam is fueling. Which is good, because we've got them coming right at us. You can see there's no time to waste here. And then it's got to refill from shooting down everything. And we're low on energy. So I'm just waiting for it to go positive so I can start building more things. There we go. You can see we yeah, three of these are going to launch soon. One, two, and these five. But the difference is this time we have a couple more over here which should be barely enough to protect us. So if I relay here, I like to make this my next move. And there's no point in putting another beam up now because we're going to need the energy. You see it spreads out the five across so it allows us to usually be safe with that maneuver okay put another beam up and they're going to continue to flow all their stuff out refill everything we're going to keep building Okay, let's build a relay there. And we're going to move this across. That creates more room. We're going to throw another beam up there. Come on. There we go. Now that can start getting packets through to that one. And now we've got another reactor up. So we're way short on energy, but we've got 3.1 coming in. So it will refill everything. And again, we're just going to wait for that to happen. Deficit of four. Deficit slowly declines. There we go. Now we're building up. We're not going to build anything else just yet because we've got another wave coming. You can see the second beam up there helped deflect that. These help deflect here. So we're surviving but barely. Like we are not winning any awards. And this got hit by a beam or by a thing. It always does. So we're sort of stuck here with the one beam. And there's a lot of in-between here, because we've got a reactor building, we're waiting on these beams to refill their energy. But then eventually it starts going positive again, and you can lay down another reactor. And each time a new one comes online is huge. Now I'm going to throw a third beam down here just for safety and I really feel at this point now this is the where I have enough beams whoops let's throw up one more we're gonna lose a bunch of energy here and we lost a collector there now, they do hit that every once in a while but we still got some good energy out of it and we're just gonna wait now this one is almost up. Perhaps I shouldn't have built this second reactor, but I think I was okay to do it. I'm going to deactivate it for now, though, until we go positive. Did build it a quarter of the way. I'll get the other one built faster. There we go. Up to 3.9. 
and we're going to activate. Now the next thing I want to do is get a sprayer. And then just this just gives me some added security. If I build that, and I get these other ore mines. Now we got a big deficit again. So I'll deactivate the sprayer for now. Deactivate this ore mine. What I want to do is put this always on and just have it start building up a protective blanket. I don't need a huge one, but I would like to have a general one in place. Whoops, okay, now energy's coming back. Let's get moving. And that is the last reactor I'm going to build for now. Now the next thing I want to do, and I've not found a better place than right there, is to plop down this forge. Because now we can start getting some upgrades in. See, we're starting to fill this out. Once we get a decent blanket here, we can try to go back there, reclaim that, and so on. So we're surviving. We're not winning any awards, but we are definitely surviving. And I've run out of stuff. So now I'm going to build a terp. And this is level 6 up here. This is level 1 down here. I messed up a bunch of energy last time by being wrong on that level. So I just want to level everything out up here to 6. And to 1 up here. So that way we can make generally full use of all of our territory. This is the one, and it's not big by any stretch, but it's the one serviceable landmass that I have. I'm going to deactivate this for now while I build that. And one of the reasons is, of course, all of these totems are now going to start powering up in a minute. And that's going to take some energy. We only have two of them. And again, I didn't bother getting, or three, I didn't bother connecting these over here. I don't think it's worth the effort required. So what do we want to use this for? Well, obviously energy would be great, but their packets are traveling from a long ways away. I want to get a couple of those. And now you can see that we're short on energy because it's trying to power the totems and not doing a good job. So the more energy we get, the more aether we can get so we can get more energy, etc., etc. So I'm going to sort of bounce back and forth between energy efficiency and that and you can see our overall ore pretty even like we're just barely using more here okay now I want to activate this whoops I didn't mean to push that up let's terraform that a little bit down to one again that's where it's supposed to be. There it is. Did I miss a spot here? Yep. So it's easy to miss things while doing this. I'm just going to have you float over here for a bit. Meanwhile, packet speed up 
energy storage up. We're gradually going to improve things. And another big one early on is range, because if you look at these, now that I've improved the range once, I can just barely get over to some of this. And I want to stick this sprayer and move, move this, because we've now got a decent blanket up top. I want to stick the sprayer down here so that it can fire out this way, and range helps with that as well. And then I also want to move one of these back here. Because I'm eventually going to get a second sprayer over here. Okay, Mr. Terp, you are done. Let's move you up that. Oh, no, you're not either. Missed a spot. Level 6. Let's take care of that. Alright, now we will definitely be using this Terp later. But we do not want it anymore right now. So let's go ahead and throw that in place. Now we've got this shooting out here, and again, it's pretty much equally balanced. And to me, that says you want another sprayer in position. And I also want to get another range for sure. More coverage for those beams is huge. Now we're not going to be able to utilize all of these right away. Like, we're going to be short on AC. But, I mean, you can see it's it's close. It's like basically even right now. And I am going to soon start, not quite yet, but I'm going to start ramping that up. The amount of AC that we have. I'm going to move you, hmm, move you somewhere. Let's do this, and then this. I think that's how I want it. Nope. Okay, let's take off the always on for now, because what I need is, what I want is a relay here. And then one across there. But I need two sprayers in range in order to make this work. Come on, why are you not... Maybe I've got to move you somewhere else? I'm going to range it however I have to. There we go. Okay, and then these... You can see they still have the range to shoot at it if I get them in the right spots. Of course, these reactors possibly better positioned elsewhere. I put that in place, and now I can start moving up the AC. You do not have anything to shoot at over here. But if I... So I think I want to just put it over there on that edge. Yeah. Then move these across one at a time. There we go. And then now we can start shooting at things over here. On the other hand, these may come and start hitting us, which they will. Yep, lost that. Okay. So now I have to retreat temporarily. But if I get more beams up here behind them, I'll be able to cover that. So that's just, that's not going to be a long-term problem. I'm going to start getting up a couple cannons. And so this is just a matter of time until it works out for us. 
Especially if we keep boosting the AC. We're now up to 4.8. Get one over there secure. Bring over the second one. And then now, let's move these back up here. Now those spores will have a lot harder time getting through. And we can gradually start eating away at this. Because this one down here, 30 per one second. It's only, it's about a three-quarter strength emitter. Normally it would be 40 per second or 20 per half second. And we've got plenty of energy. So now I can, I can begin to go on the attack here. Just feels weird doing this again, doing stuff that I've already done before. But such is life. And now I think I'm going to add another reactor in here. I think I want to start a general boost up across the board now. Okay, now you can slide over here. We have enough energy, but not a lot of it right now. So I'm just going to stick with these weapons, I think, and build a couple more reactors. I think that wouldn't hurt to put another... Let's put it there. I think we have enough energy for another reactor. And then probably another one. So we're up to almost 10. Energy, that is. There we go. And of course now we can boost more. And I think it's time to begin expanding our territory on this side. Of course getting sprayers to the high ground always going to be paramount. Sprayers plus mortars very nice combination as we have discovered in recent efforts. And then, of course, bring the beams up alongside. Don't really like that placement. Here's another ore mine. And of course, if I want, I can just put more reactors down here. I mean, it, the expansion taking more territory gives you more territory behind, gives you more flexibility. The usual pattern. Boost our fire rate. Let's see, I like that location and then let's move these up right by it. This one's kind of going to get set directly in stuff, but up. Oh. Yeah, let's Let's move right up there on that shelf. And then put you up here. And you can help guard over this way. Okay, I think we're ready now. We've got enough energy. Let's add another mortar. Let's add a couple of them.
As always, it is a time-honored military strategy to grab the high ground whenever possible. What we lose? Relay over. Okay. Let's relay there and move these up a bit. I knew I was a little bit late in moving them up, and it was just late enough that I paid for it. Okay, so let's add that ore mine. Let's see. AC supply slowly going down. So let's add one more sprayer. All right, now I think it's time to nullify. I can probably nullify there. You can see, like, right here, I can actually get a whole bunch of stuff without... And I didn't even do that last time. I built it more over here, but without going to the more... Uh, to the super nullifier stage. Waiting for a power zone to open up. So this is basically the first part, and we're willing, waiting for those to build this over here. Now, I built a Bertha last time. I'm going to build it again. But if you have the Bertha impact in these areas, you can get into a lot of trouble. And I do mean a lot of it, because what happens is it destroys the Digitalis, and all this creeper that's built up flows outwards. It flowed outwards over all of my command nodes. I had to evacuate them. I had to take down almost all my reactors over here to make room to let. It was a mess. And we're going to avoid all of that this time. And we got almost all of them, but not quite. Let's stay a nice, nice safe distance away. And then we're going to move you up here and just make sure that we nuke the rest of this. Let's move up here, relay up here, and some of this is completely unnecessary, but nope, not there. So let's move there and here, and I think that's going to be our spot. Okay, I don't really need this thing yet. So, I think we're doing fine over here at the moment. And now that we only have... Let's see, I need... Can we move this? No. Range. That's a good spot. What I'm looking for here is that I want, I'm going to bring this turp over here and start getting some work done. It's time to add some more stuff from the forge, etc. But what I want to do is shoot a bunch of AC into this right away and counteract the creeper. At the same time, if you can focus on that. There we go, and we'll shoot all this stuff off. Okay, now let's move you, say, right back over here. Where's my terp? Let's bring it in place. Okay. So like I said, I don't need the Aether, otherwise I'd grab these. But I just want to flatten some stuff out. Now this is level 1. I think. Yeah. We just want to get rid of all of this. 
flatten out the whole island. I may not need the whole island, but I'm going to do it anyway. And I want to move this beam temporarily there so that we have a spot of energy. I'm going to hope I get away with it. Because we can't connect. I'm just going to slide it back over here. And I don't need this for a long time. I just need it for long enough for this turp to do its work. You can see this is, this is sort of escaping some over here, but not much. This is the one that controls the Digitalis, so that's the one I need to get. But at the moment, I want to just gradually work my way over to this, which is a little bit complicated, because this air exclusion zone covers both of these land areas where I might try to go. So I'm actually not going to go directly to them. I'm probably not ever going to land even on them. And as this turp slowly does its thing, you can see we're down here at about level 4. And it's actually taking up all my energy here to do it, because it, I think this thing had to shoot down something, maybe? Or no, it's just this. Okay, why don't we move you... Well, no, because this is about to come in a few seconds. So we're just going to wait. Let's see. Yeah, there's really nothing that I can place right now to make this easier. So I'm just going to wait on the energy. And we're down, you can see we're down to like level 2 here, so we don't have much more to go. Now I should be able to, yeah, just grab a bit of energy that way. I don't need a lot here. Just need a little. Now I'm going to need a couple of guppies. So I'm just going to get those started over here. And you know what? I might as well. I don't need it at all. But I'm going to put a super guppy there. Super reactor here. Just for the energy. Let's see. Can you fit... Oh, let's wait for that. There it goes. Slide over there. And now you can connect to that collector. And you can come back here. Let's see. Let's put another... I don't want a collector there because I want a relay there. Okay. Okay. There's another island to flatten. And again, you may not need, I may not need to flatten at all, but I'm going to anyway. And you can see I can reach it from here. Only this time I've got a little bit more energy coming in. And I'm not ready to guppy just yet. I need this thing to get full. And what I needed to do now is come over here and flatten this out. And this is level 6. The nice thing about this... No, not 9. I'm, that's exactly the kind of thing I did last time.
There we are. Okay, so I need one of those spots for Guppy. Mr. Super Guppy, it's time for you to go play. And that's the only end it can land on because this end is air excluded. But that's why we put the nullifier there. And let's just start boosting everything again. And of course the Super Guppy version can feed this right away and it does not have to go back and forth which is less time of getting hit by a spore from this nullifier. And this is the big one again. This is five spores. So once that goes down, things are much better. And then we can take this out. But this is going to destroy all of this fun stuff. So you kind of want to be ready and I'm not really. Let's do there. And there. And there. There it goes. Nothing's holding it back anymore. It's going to leak out. There it goes. So this is exactly how I lost this baby last time. Probably going to lose it again. Come over here. Come over here. You can see it's just flowing out. Now, you go ahead and auto-target now. Hit whatever you feel like, except it's not, you'll notice, it's not getting any energy. It's not really a problem immediately because it's also not going to have anything going over there. It's just I've got to regain all this territory. And this one I think we're about to lose. It's close. It's really close. I made it. Just barely. Oh, nope. It came from the other side. Okay. So that's fun. So I knew it was coming and sort of messed it up again, but this is not, this is not hard to recover. There are no more spores coming at us. So we don't have to be in a hurry here. And I even have some more of this that I can use, boost the income real quick. And of course I could try to do stuff over here and create room and everything. I just don't need to, so I'm not going to. We're just going to build our relays up gradually. There we are. Now you're going to get more ammo. Clear the path over here. Nice little depth of eight. How lovely. We don't even need you anymore, so we'll just get rid of you and make an easier connection. There we go. Now we're going to be hooked up. And then as I did last time, I'm going to use this to help clear off the islands now that we're flowing again. That's the one I want. And I'm going to want another terp. Just build it here. There we go. Now, once again, Super Guppy, you go down there. Relay here. Terp there. Point of all this is I want to clear off this island next, which has, again, a depth of six. Does not take much. Now you want the super relay here because otherwise you can't connect to the right spot. You need to be able to connect over there 
to that side. If you just have a regular relay here, it will only connect to like this part, and then you can't find anywhere to place your nullifier, and that's the nullifier that wins the level. So there are ways to screw it up at the beginning, there are ways to screw it up later, but at the end, it's really actually kind of interesting. Overall, you know, to get these kind of precise layouts, you really have to be careful when you design this. And I always, always appreciate somebody who goes to the trouble of really making sure the flow of their level makes sense. So that was the Bardell Redemption. And next time, we'll move on from there to the convention. Of course, I finished it 20 minutes faster. Could have finished it a lot faster than that. And the convention, which looks exactly like the first level, or at least really close to it. And that kind of scares me. That'll be next time. Until then, thanks for watching. More Creeper World 3 coming up soon.